High fire signs Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see um, what's going on in your connection. Okay, so we'll take a look and see what is the truth of your connection, how is your person feeling, what are they thinking about you, does this have staying power, will it go the distance, or sadly, will it not? It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. There's also going to be part two to this reading and part two of the reading is going to delve into the messages in a little bit more detail. Okay, so depending what messages we get in part one, we're going to go in a lot more detail in part two and part two to this reading is going to be made via the extension link below. For those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just uh, below the video here as well. So where the show more section is. Okay, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and let's take a look at exactly what is going on in this connection. Let's get some answers. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands, and this is movement, forward momentum, progression here. This is um, this is things happening at a very fast and a very exciting pace. It doesn't necessarily give me the impression of anything being rushed here or rushed through. It just feels like things are finally flowing. You may be in flow with uh, the universe, with cos uh, the cosmic flow here. Things may be just unfolding for you very naturally, very organically here when it comes to your love life and that department here. For others of you, I feel like there is a reconnection here or you have reconnected with someone from your past. So this is a past energy, could be a childhood sweetheart, could be a former lover, a former old flame here whom you still have feelings for. Maybe even a fling that you were, you know, loosely involved with. But I feel like for some of you, there is a re reconnection or some communication. Definitely some communication coming in. And I feel like that communication is opening up the doors to a reconnection, a reunion of some sort, or just revisiting maybe some um, memories here with a special person. It could also be a long lost lover, guys. Um, okay, but I feel like things are moving fast, okay, if they're not already, or they will be moving fast here. So I definitely feel like someone here is coming in for reconciliation or a reunion here. This is with someone whom I feel like you've parted, okay? So there was always a very special emotional bond, a very special emotional connection. The two of you may have even... Um, loved each other and those strong feelings haven't necessarily dissolved from what I can see but I do feel like the two of you have parted ways look it could it could be due to um, certain circumstances it may have been because of a, of a career path one decided to pursue a certain career path it could be because of travel for whatever reason it feels like something he has wedged a bit of a um, like a distance between the two of you and I feel like the two of you have ended up going separate ways in the past but now it feels like someone and it, to me it feels like someone was away like I'm picking up like an away mode so I don't know if this person has done some traveling I don't know if they've moved away from you and if this is someone coming back home moving in closer to you but I definitely feel like this is The universe is setting in place a reunion or um, 
a reconnection of some sort and that's being set in motion for some of you you have recently reconnected with someone from what, from what i can see a past energy or someone whom you still have lingering emotions for and you may be questioning their intention behind this reconnection their intention behind you know this reconciliation reunion reconciliation reconnection um because I feel like this person has been reminiscing a lot. You guys have shared and created some beautiful and wonderful memories together. And I feel like something he has been blocking the two of you up until this point. And I do feel like this is someone who wants to come back here. And to me, it's like they want to recapture something. Perhaps the love that you guys shared. Perhaps that connection. That special connection that the two of you had. Perhaps, you know, the wonderful memories that you've created together. It feels like their intention behind reconnecting with you is not just because they miss you yes of course they miss you yes they are drowning under the waves of nostalgia but i feel like there's more i feel like this is someone who still has feelings for you and this is someone who i feel like this is someone who's definitely trying to make things work this time around okay to me it feels like they're putting their best foot forward and they're putting their best efforts here to try and Either repair or salvage here things between the two of you. Try and reconcile your differences here. But to me, it feels like someone he wants to get back together again. See, with the Eight of Pentacles, to me, it feels like either you or this person he has got to a point in their life where they're not settling for mediocre. Not anymore, okay? This person knows their worth and you know your worth. And to me, it feels like they know what you're worth, okay? And they're trying to come back and trying to um, accommodate everything that you deserve, if that makes sense. So this is someone who I feel like has been trying to figure out how to give you everything that you want and everything that you truly deserve. They may have in the past felt as if they weren't good enough for you. And maybe some of those insecurities really crept up and it's what sort of made them pull away. I think, yeah, there were other circumstances but a part of them, I felt like maybe they thought that they weren't good enough for you or um, that they somehow didn't measure up. I feel like they've done a lot of learning, okay? And I feel like they know the best way now to deal with reconciling things or to deal with, um, you know, rebuilding a connection here. I, I feel like they're a lot more mature in their approach, a lot more responsible here. And it's no longer, I don't think this is someone who's, who will allow for their ego to get in the way of things. And I feel like maybe they've done that in the past. Okay, this is someone who is studying you closely. Or this is someone who knows you very closely. Like I'm, I'm seeing that this person is waiting for the right circumstances, the right time, the right moment, the right scene. They want to set up everything just so it's right, just so it's picture perfect to reveal to you their true feelings. Because I feel like... For some reason, you guys have put this relationship or you put this connection on hold in the past. And this person wants to play catch up now. Okay, so whatever it is that you've created here, this, this is someone who wants to, um, you know, catch up on everything that they've missed out with you. See, the Queen of Wands in this reading represents this person's energy and it often represents someone who becomes very relevant to you in your future here. And to me, the Queen of Wands feels like this is someone who is going to become a very important um, figure here in your future. I feel like they're putting a lot of pressure on themselves. I, or I don't know where this pressure is coming from. It feels like they're really wanting to make things perfect. They're really wanting to get things right with you. And to me, it does feel like there's so much, it feels like there's so much pressure riding on this. And it feels like they're coming back, but they don't want just friendship, okay? They want a romantic connection. This is someone who wants, um, this is someone who wants to go back to what you guys have started and what you guys have created here. In the past, they have been, and they'll admit to it, they have been very inconsiderate with their feelings and with their actions. But like I said, they've done a lot of growing up. They've done a lot of maturing, a lot of wising up. 
it's almost like they're a different person here. And I feel like because of their different energies now, it's likely that the outcome of the situation is going to be very different. I like that the chariot here has appeared in your reading because to me, it feels like these two cards strongly speak to us about taking action and moving forward. There is a very strong sense of urgency with this person, okay? So if things have been stagnated, if you guys have had a stagnant situation, things are definitely going to be moving again, okay? If you've, got, if you've had obstacles that you had to encounter, I definitely feel like the two of you um, may have been challenged by obstacles in your path, but I do see... The chariot's energy does tell us that you will be victorious here. This person is really focused and I feel like this person is fully in control of their emotions and fully in control of their actions here. This is someone who wants you. This is someone who needs you. They want you and only you. They've got you know, their eyes set on a prize being you. And this is someone who I feel like is going to go to extreme lengths to do what it has what they have to do in order to pursue you to win you back win you over if there are any competing um, romantic energies this person is happy to compete against them they know what they bring to the table this is someone confident you know they may have had insecurities in the past but they've definitely worked on those insecurities i also see with the nine of cups i also see that this is someone who has been wishing for you i feel like this is someone who has been thinking about you a lot lately and this is someone who's been wishing for someone like you they've been wishing for this moment they've been wishing for an opportunity to come back reconnect here and this is someone who wants everything as good as it should be okay so such a very strong desirous energy behind them and to me when this card shows up in terms of feelings this is someone who i feel like their feelings grow stronger for you every time that they see you here they don't want a new friend. They have plenty of friends already. They definitely want a relationship. They want a romantic connection with you. Okay, because to me, it feels like this person has a great deal or a great attraction, like a great deal of attraction for you, a great deal of love or attraction. They almost feel as if you're, you're someone who's too good to be true. Sometimes they do second guess themselves here, but I definitely feel like this is someone who their desire for you is very strong. Okay, this is someone who feels like you're a dream or a wish come true, like you're everything they ever wanted and then some and more. This is someone who, like I said, they want you and only you and look at them. I mean, you've got the chariot, the eight of wands, you know, this is someone who wants, who, who is taking action. They're in control here. They know what they want and they've got their eyes set on you. The Eight of Wands. This is someone who is rushing in towards you. Such a fast-paced energy. Um, someone whose flame still burns very brightly for you. Someone who's willing to work on things. Even if that means working on themselves to improve themselves for this connection. So in part two, we're going to explore what is the urgency that we're feeling here with your person's energy? Why is it that they feel like they have to rush towards you? Why now? Why not earlier? Why not later? You know, what is it about the timing that wants, um, that makes them want to reconnect with you? Is there something you said? Well, you know, what, what prompted this reconnection, I guess? And more importantly, what is the outcome of the situation? Because the first time around, you guys clearly didn't get it right, but that's okay. The universe is clearly giving you a second time. So is the outcome going to be different the second time around, or will it just be the same old, same old? So join me for part two of this reading via the extension link below. Otherwise, guys, thanks again for your time, your attention. Greatly appreciate it. For those of you after a personal reading, the link, not the link, I tell a lie, the email is listed below the video as well. Bye for now.